Developing story, the State Department appearing to contradict President Obama's claim about the release of Iranian hostages. Let's go straight to CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear. He's live in the newsroom with more on this story. Brian? Well, the admission that the payment made back in January was contingent on the release of a group of American prisoners cast new questions about the president's assertions that the United States did not pay a ransom to free those Americans from Iran. On January 17th, four U.S. citizens jailed by Tehran were released and flown out of the country the very same day the United States paid $400 million in cash to settle a decades-old dispute with Iran over a 1970s military deal. Today, the U.S. State Department confirmed that money was held up and used as, quote, leverage in the negotiations over the Americans they were working to free. This is the first time the Obama administration has admitted the two were linked. Just nine days ago, the president repeated his assertion that the $400 million was not paid as ransom. We do not pay ransom. We didn't hear and we don't, uh, we won't in the future. Precisely because if we did, then we would start encouraging uh, Americans to be targeted, much in the same way that some countries that do pay ransom uh, end up having a lot more of their citizens uh, being taken by various groups. State Department spokesman John Kirby says negotiations over the United States returning the cash from an Iranian account that was frozen was conducted separately from the prisoner talks. But more of this will be coming out as the hours continue tonight. Reporting from the newsroom, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. Brian, thank you. We have